Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid Peach Mall 2.0 save file. As always, let us continue. So I'm sure there are a lot of you who are wondering, and I know there are because I see the comments like, why, why isn't Zomboid regular? What's going on with Zomboid? Can you please like let me know what the hell's going on with it? So I love Zomboid to be regular and I'm sure you guys are sick and tired of hearing about PAX Prime. And I am sick and tired of talking about it, to be honest with you. Um, but it's making a lot of my schedule irregular for now. I'm still getting out four videos a day, which I prefer to be five, like it always has been. But because of, you know, certain things, I just can't get it up to five for a day. Um, and right now, as it is with the series that I need to decide on what I would want to not be every day. Zomboid's kind of up there just because, as I said before, it's one of the series that is most regular on my channel, it has the most episodes, the most different seasons and different series showing off different things. Uh, so Zomboid always slips away. Once PAX Prime is done in about a week and a half, two weeks or so, we will be seeing a return to form with Project Zomboid. Zomboid will be daily again. We'll be back to the normal, uh, the normal amount of episodes that we usually are at, and we'll be able to kind of just rock it once again. Uh, until then, it's gonna be this whole back and forth irregular situation for a bit until I can get things uh, you know at once until PAX Prime is essentially done once PAX Prime is done we'll be back to normal with this and, and Darkwood and everything and for now I have a lot of other stuff going on that I there's a lot of games I want to play and a lot of games I want to show you and for now those are the ones that are gonna take the forefront of the channel until PAX Prime is finished up uh, purely because it is the most exciting for me and hopefully a lot of uh, pretty exciting for you guys I apologize. I do I know a lot of you get really mad when I don't give you daily zomboid and I'm upset you're not giving you daily zomboid as it's kind of turned You know, it's one of the things that I do um, But it'll come back and I can promise you that it'll come back and not not to worry your pretty little faces for too long all right, so that being said let's continue doing what we were doing uh does this, does this tree not exist? One of the things I want to do, here we go, uh, is start working and finishing this wall. That's something we have really not done yet, and it's a little bit frustrating. I feel like the wall I've been putting off for too long eh, for the sake of other things, and I want to make sure that the wall does get done. In days like this where it's raining, where I don't have to concern myself with watering the plants as much, I can go ahead and start focusing on the wall, because watering the plants doesn't take priority when the rain is taking care of it for me. And as you saw when we walked by, the plants are looking pretty damn good. They're very, very, very healthy. They're starting to sprout a bit, and the more they sprout, the more we're gonna get, uh, the quicker we're gonna get the, the plants that we want, so on and so forth. And that's what we're gonna focus on, like I said, so. Um, just chopping down some trees right now, then we'll run back, we'll dry off, we'll grab ourselves our hacksaw, we'll come back, we'll start sawing these things up, and then we'll uh, start bringing them back and start building walls and so on. Just a little bit of maintenance work while we get our fort up and ready as we should. One of the things we're going to start worrying about too soon is I just want to clean up the place. So picking up zombie bodies, burning them in a big pile to, just to get rid of them. All that's going to be stuff we're going to be focusing on. So we're soaking wet. Let's head inside. I don't want to get drenched. I want to get out of here because we have a chance of catching a cold. I wasn't paying attention to my own personal health there. So let's just take care of that right now. Get inside. Alright, let's dry off. There we go. All dried. It's getting... Oh, it's only noon. My character's already tired. Kind of a whiny baby. We can actually look at the info here. Healthy, well watered. Don't have to worry about it. Alright, keep moving. Um, We're doing pretty well. As far as experience is concerned. Rain is done. Not worried about that, though, because it is already late in the day, so I'm not going to go looting now. Oh, well, one of the things I'm going to loot, I think, are the houses nearby looking for a watering can anyway, so. Alright, a couple more. I forgot to go grab my hacksaw. It's fine. And we'll just do one more tree. Four, five. Alright, let's go grab the hacksaw. Our sprinting is so low. Oh my god. I don't know if we'll ever see a level a level 3 sprinting uh, in this playthrough because of how long it friggin takes. And unless I want to dedicate just straight up a ton of off-camera work to getting my sprinting level 3 up, just not going to happen. 
Just not. All right, sawn off. A lot of shotgun shells. We have wood glue? Interesting. I think that's all used up, though. Where's my hacksaw? Do I have my hacksaw? I do have my hacksaw. Oh, ha. Whoops. Let's keep moving. That was silly of me. Almost still almost 2,000 zombies. I, I do probably next time we play, we'll be able to crack that open or get close to it. All right, so let's go ahead and... Can I just right-click and saw them? Apparently not. I thought that was something we could do. Apparently that's not something we can do. So let's just do two at a time. We'll bring them back. We'll saw them up. The usual. Do I have a hammer? Do I have nails on me? I don't think I do. I do have some. We can start moving those and unpacking those. Okay. And we'll actually start building right away. Let's actually go to the front and build up front. And we're good right here. Saw. Saw. Like we always do. Now we are getting an experience boost, which is nice. Actually, next one we saw, we might actually level up and get a skill point. Could put it in cooking. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and put it in cooking. And then we will build some wooden walls. Nice and easy. One, two. All right, let's keep on. Whoa, where'd you come from? Let's take care of him right the F now. Hey there, sir. Excuse me. Where the hell did you come from? Let's go ahead and move to his hate face. I don't know if that actually matters, but I like to do it anyway. Huh. Interesting. wonder where he came from. Kind of taking a quick look, just so I don't... So we don't get completely blindsided by another zombie. I mean, he could have just come out of the woods. Maybe heard me chopping down logs. Maybe heard me building. Whatever it is. He could have just come, in out of, come out of the woods for... From nowhere and just wandered his way into my front yard. Not a huge deal. Always gets me a little concerned when I see a zombie in an area that I consider safe. If I wasn't paying attention or he came up behind me or something. I am not looking up behind myself as often as I probably should be in this area because I'm in my mind it's I'm telling myself it's safe. Uh, but that one zombie, if he came behind me, man, and I wasn't paying attention, he could have been done. He would have just bit me and it would have been over. But luckily that did not happen. A couple more. So we're gonna have to now I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit nervous. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on behind me pretty much at all times. Though I'm pretty I'm still pretty certain. It's uh, it's very very safe. It was probably just a fluke. In all honesty, what? Why'd that guy do that? Hmm. Let's keep moving. Yeah, let's keep doing this. Couple more saw. Move it up to the front wall. We'll do this until the end of the day. Then morning comes. What we'll do is we'll hit up the houses nearby. Uh, once again, looking for. Let's pack up our axe a little bit. Give ourselves some running room. Um, but we need to. We really do need to come across a, a watering can. It's going to make gardening so much easier. And so much more convenient. Because, again, right now when we're watering stuff, we're pouring entire bottles of water just to take care of the basics of watering a particular plant. With a watering can, we don't have to worry about that so much. Watering plant, uh, watering can, rather, uh, it will cover multiple once you fill it. And you, it, it takes the same amount of water to fill it as other, other things. If that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Still, wow, we're still getting so much experience. Like, this is going to take a while to hit level 4, but this is going to give us another point very, very rapidly. We could just put it in blunt because we have nothing else to really spend it in. But I might just save it. I mean, right now, we, we got so many axes last episode that we have plenty of backup weapons that putting in a blunt is almost pointless. 
just merely because of how much we have. So I don't know. I'm also only taking two at a time. You're probably like, man, that's why you're taking three. Because I, the reason I'm taking two is I can move a little bit faster. And I think it's a little bit more efficient to do so. If I'm taking three, I'm slowing myself down pretty hardcore. That's a pain. We're going to have this front wall pretty close to done. And then we just got to go around and come straight down this way. Of which we've already built a couple of walls in the process. So we'll get that one done. That one done. We got maybe one or two trips left before I want to turn in for the evening. Get ourselves to sleep a little bit. And I also want to try cooking, too, with our new uh, newfound rank in cooking. I'm curious how much more fed we can actually get our character because the, the fish fillet cooked fed us a six. Only a six food. Basically as much as it did the time before. Uh, eating it raw rather so it didn't really make a difference but maybe it'll make a difference now people are saying in the comments that if I pump up cooking um, it will make a difference so we will do some more cooking and see just what it can offer us saw and saw How many, do we have any more nails? Oh, we have three nails. Is that enough for one wall? I think it's enough for one. Where's the wall? There it is. So we need a little bit more nails. We can go get some. Come on. There we go. Kind of get rid of it. Got to right click to make it go away. So we got ten boxes of nails. I prefer. Let's grab half. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to make that. Three planks and five nails. Let's grab half. Let's make a trap. Maybe we can catch a rabbit or something. We can cook the rabbit. That's something we have not tried yet. Make a wooden cage trap. All right. Let's equip this as our primary, I'm assuming, is how I'm going to have to put this down. Place trap. All right, let's put this... Off in the woods, you would presume, so I don't catch, hopefully, like, a mouse or a rat or something. I mean, we used up the rest of our planks doing this, but... Cool. And I'm assuming this will be reusable. Now, can I just, like, check it? I can add, I can add a, a worm as bait. Huh. Well, that's actually kind of neat. I want to try that next time. We'll see if uh, we catch any any good food. Hopefully we do. All right, let's swing back into the house. Let's grab something to eat real quick. I don't think I have anything in the fridge worth eating. I am going to double check. Nope. Gonna have to keep eating this. Hopefully our food starts to grow. We are actually very, 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 very low on food. Which concerns me. We'll have our pop. Actually, no. No, no. I don't want to do it yet. Wait. Did I drink half of it? I almost drank... I think I almost drank all of it? What happened? I still got the food fed icon, but I didn't actually use it all. Because I tried to interrupt him, and I did. I don't know if it bugged out or if it only counted as drinking half. Interesting. So we'll see. Keep, we'll go check the trap in the morning. Maybe we'll have caught something really cool. Hopefully we will. My bones are creaky and crackly. I apologize to hear them popping in the background. I try to keep it as far away from the microphone as I can when I do it. It's a bad, bad, bad habit. I expect when I'm really old, my hands are going to look like, I don't know, brittle and disgusting because I crack them so often. Let's check the plants. Is it raining? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's check the info on them. Make sure they're well watered still. They are. Young cabbages. Can I actually loot them? I can't. All right. First and foremost, let's go double check the uh, the trap. See if that did anything. If it gave us rabbit or something. I wonder if we could like just cut it with our kitchen knife. This is something we'll probably check every day. 
No, I don't think so. Alright, let's uh, do a little bit of looting. Let's equip it as our primary. And we're going to go see if we can get ourselves a watering can. Hopefully we'll have it nearby. Hopefully. I'm re I mean, I don't really want to go far. I know the mall was kind of a pain in the ass to find a watering can in, a.k.a. we didn't find one at all. So... It would make sense that we might be able to... Ooh, broccoli seeds. We might be able to get them in the houses. But there might just be an element of luck involved, too. Which is good, because we have the lucky trait. Haha. -ha. Not, not really hitting anything here. These are empty. I don't know if upstairs would be worth looking at, to be honest. My guess would be no. It's just you don't want to catch, check the kitchen or a shed if there are any sheds. I mean, I could pop in here anyway and look. I haven't come in here. Yeah, there's nothing in here anyway. I guess you never really know what could really spawn. I don't know the loot tables as best as I should. I know the mostly important stuff, I guess. Nothing. Nothing. I'll take this just because we can use it as tinder. Get a fire going with it, add it as fuel. So it has a use. Take vitamins. Whoop. Nothing. Yeah, this is going to be difficult to find what we need, I think. I might have to go to a store that would have it. And that, I don't think, is going to be in the mall. Because we already checked that, you know, outdoorsy store that was in uh, in the mall. So we're going to have to see if there's, like, a, somewhere else we can go. I'll pop up in the map, I think, prior to playing next episode, if I remember. And uh, see if we can get what we need. Maybe, ooh, cabbage seeds. That's always good. Hmm. You'd think maybe in here, in the boxes, the boxes have a higher percent chance, possibly, of spawning what you need. Alright, nothing here, nothing here. Pop upstairs, maybe there's some more boxes of stuff. Though I've obviously already been up here. Who knows if I left it behind, that's the thing. Because I'm such a sporadic, like, scavenger and looter, this is how I play, uh... Even though I've searched everything, there's still a chance that I've left it behind. Alright, we'll wrap this episode up here. We'll continue searching next episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize. Zomboid is not regular, but it will be before you know it. Uh, I'm going to take this garden spray can. I don't know if I can use that for water, but I'm going to take it anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, come back next time for more Project Zomboid. And consider dropping a like as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.